not for the first time, the Mythbusters are playing with fire. There we go. One, two, three. Nice. They're set to test a dubious and dangerous internet video that seems to show exploding ice. The clip shows what is purportedly 11 pounds of thermite in a metal bucket sitting on top of 10 blocks of ice. They light the thermite, it does what we expect thermite to do, but then all of a sudden, poof, out it goes in a big explosion, flinging bits of metal everywhere. Now we're gonna do exactly what they did and see if we get the same result. It's hard to believe that mixing fire and ice could ever end in a boom. Retired FBI man Frank Doyle thinks that concealed gunpowder might be the cause of the conflagration. Well, I'm a little skeptical, and I think they've done something a little iffy. All right, well, there's only one way to find out. Frank sets the fuse. Adam sets the scene. Let's get behind the barrier and replicate a couple of uh, internet pyromaniacs. And Jamie lights the wick. This is thermite and ice in three, two, one. Good. Needless to say, never try this yourself. We've got all the safety gear, the expertise, and the blast screen. It's killing me. Don't tell me. What the heck? This is close to a worst case scenario, when the explosion you're expecting to happen doesn't. I think it's a dud. So Jamie slips into something less comfortable, but way more fireproof. He and Frank fashion a new fuse. Then Jamie takes a furtive walk, knowing the old fuse could catch at any time. So Jamie's put on the full fire suit to protect himself to replace another fuse and matches because, well, we don't know. He could touch that bucket and it could all go off. So it's a little bit touch and go right now. Jamie wastes no time setting the new spark. He's lit it. Let's hope it stays lit. This experiment should confirm or bust the myth of exploding ice. Well, looks like the match is going off. There, there it goes. Go. I'd say that was an explosion. I'm pretty sure that qualifies. <laughs> and Adams found the source of that thunk that shook the blast screen. <laughs> In the popular parlance, we call this piece of ice a hunter killer because it went all the way from ground zero to our blast chamber. Luckily, it is ice proof. Some chunks of ice flew as far as 150 feet. The brick pallet is a smoldering ruin, and there's no trace at all of the galvanized steel bucket. <laughs> Look at that. That tells the whole story right there. I yeah. am a believer. <laughs> but what actually made the ice go boom? The truth is, no one really knows. Experts I've talked to are speculating that heat from the burning thermite is decomposing the water into hydrogen and oxygen, which in the presence of a source of ignition, namely hot thermite, is exploding. Now, I sort of have a problem with that because that requires that a whole bunch of hydrogen and oxygen be instantaneously created, and I don't know that that's possible. There is another explanation I'm just speculating, and that is that something in this reaction is aerosolizing all the thermite. It's, uh, you know, the steam or something is throwing all this powder up into a cloud of thermite, and that's exploding. We don't know. It's a mystery. But one way or another, that was a heck of a bang. Here's their video, and here's ours. So it's myth confirmed. No black powder, no hidden fireworks, just fire and ice.